NC State six and three on the season. Wake is four and five. ACC football on the CW, and here comes Devon Claiborne on the return. Up to the 25, and out of bounds near the 30 for Claiborne on the return for Wake Forest. Last game for Wake Forest was November 2nd, a loss at Duke 24-21 on a last second field goal. A pass to 35 yard line for Griffiths and a six yard run. Jalen Scott on the stop. Has a win under his belt and a start against Pitt. That win against Pitt was a home victory. Griffiths over the middle. That is knocked away and incomplete. He's looking for Jamal Banks. Yeah, nowhere to go. That pocket collapses. All those lanes plugged up. There's Jackson. But don't try to do too much. Play within this system. And this system's coming out with some tricks early. Concepcion. First down. Concepcion across midfield. Trying to break away. And the Deeks will catch him near the 20. KC Concepcion for the Wolfpack. Wow. How do we get creative in getting the ball to number 10? Jet sweeps, handoffs, passes. Here's a reverse to start the game, and it's off to the races. One of the most electric players in all of college football. I'd like to get him incorporated a little bit more into the game plan. It can be big for Brennan Armstrong here today. Ninth in the red zone this season in the ACC. Looking down near the two and stepping into the end zone. Julian Gray with a twisting grab. His first receiving TD of the year. NC State is in the end zone and leads. The special cornerback has already broken up a pass here early in this football game. White had an interception in the end zone in the victory against Miami a week ago. Open man, 30-yard line. Griffiths pass on target. Like it's affected him that much. Griffiths, four receivers to choose from, and he got swallowed up. Devon Benny up on his grill with a loss of six on a sack. They're all coming right here. Tony Gibson loves to bring that pressure. And in a hiccup, Benny's back there. In the basketball season, and we'll see you on December 2nd. Work to do here in Winston-Salem. Raphael left side. He drags some Demon Deeks with him for six yards on the rush. Second possession of the game for Brennan Armstrong. Has to get it out of the end. The same first down yardage. <laughs> and he's into Wake Forest real estate with a nine yard play. Nick Anderson on the stop for Wake. Armstrong pressured. Got away for the moment that he's dragged down. Right at about the 46 and a loss of four. Right on cue, huh? There you have circled, it's Jacob Roberts. There's the quick shift. It looked a little bit awkward, and they just leave Jacob Roberts. He gets a free shot. Griffiths pressured again, and dragged down at the five. Another sack. Yeah, and it's just, you got to put a little bit more friction on a guy than this right here. He just blows right by Luke Pettibon. It's a loss of eight, the second sack of the game for Savion Jackson. They try to move that pile beyond the 10 yard line on the ground for Wake Forest, and they got five. Here's a situation where you can't afford a turnover and giving them the short field, so they got to be a little bit safe here. Williams. Brandon Armstrong is the transfer from Virginia, where he threw 58. Career TD passes for the Cavaliers. We have slings this one to the 40. It's probably about a yard short of the line to gain. And they finally decided, hey, we got to move him up. He's making too many plays, but he can really run. First catch of the season for Smith. Now this is third and short. Armstrong breaking tackles and diving for the Wake Forest 40 yard line. They'll mark him at the 41. Armstrong. Look at him, the patience and the vision. You can tell he's been there before, and you can also can tell he, he plays this game with the... NC State, one of two so far on third down. Eighth in the conference in this situation. That pocket falls in. Armstrong with some room to run. 30-yard line and more. And down close to the 20 for Brennan Armstrong.
And watch him here. I mean, they come flying in there, and he just got to protect that football. A few turnovers there early on in this season. He Additionally, the three sacks by NC State on defense as well. Armstrong takes off. Down to the 10 for Brennan Armstrong, and another bruising run for number five. He's seen action in eight games this season because he comes in as a rusher as well. And that's down to about the five for Delbert Mims. He's a short yardage specialist. Concepcion has the football in the direct snap. Trying to stretch it out. Turn that corner. Put the shoulder down. Barreled his way to maybe the fourth and goal. Armstrong has it. Trying to follow a block to the end zone. And he's in. Brennan Armstrong barrels into the end zone for the touchdown for the back. Leading passer and leading rusher is back, and he's being in the wood and into the paint. A nice stoked 14 to nothing. And we also have a change of quarterback. Michael Kern is into the game, James, from weight number 15. The handoff goes nowhere. The ball carrier gets spun down. DeMond Claiborne in the second quarter. Passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown for Brennan Armstrong. This out near midfield on the play for NC State. That's first down yardage. Rafael down to Trevor. For NC State went 97 yards after that goal line stand. Going to run it again. A little bit of room down to the 40 and diving forward. Armstrong wants to do it. He will. Armstrong, the 20 yard. He'll mark him inside the one as guards pulled him down and saved the touchdown. Well, folks back in Shelby, Ohio that are fans of Brennan Armstrong, they, they've got to feel good watching him. Every time he gets up off the turf, he's got a great big smile. That extra blocker in the backfield leading the charge, and Armstrong doing the rest. The handoff at the goal line, second effort, and in for the touchdown, Mims. The signal made by the official right on top of it. Mims appeared to be stopped, and he would not quit on the play. And Mims slams it in from a yard out. Here we'll get another look at it, along with the replay officials. It's impressive, though, when you've got three bodies hanging on to you. Right there, that ball is across the plane. It's a good look. You can even see the laces. A lot of times, the ball being dark in the shadows, it's hard to tell. But the lace is taking care of you, knowing exactly where it is. They're wrapped up, and I didn't see body part. After further down. review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. And put a fear into him. Clemson couldn't get past him. Secondary has been so good for Tony Gibson. Over the middle and complete 30-yard line, Cameron Height. Here, Dave Dorn talking about quite a bit. Even the special teams. Playing well. They'll be coming close to blocking a few punts in this one, too. Raphael up to the 48. He got five yards. Trevor, 30 total sacks on the season now for NC State. That is third in the ACC. They've got three today, as James mentioned. Long pass to the sideline, and Morin has it. Taylor Morin, 16 yards on the ground. From the 23 for NC State. Armstrong, he hung on to it. Rolls down to the 30-yard line. Seven yards for the rush. Next week with North Alabama before they goes Florida Gators at the end of the season after Thanksgiving. This one looks like time. There's going to be a first down. No whistles. So it was Raphael on the carry, scooped up by Garns. He saunters into the end zone. I thought I heard a whistle, James. At All right, we'll take a look at it here. Can't see there. Michael Kern in at quarterback. Sudden change, maybe go big. Playboy. Spinning at the 30. Let's see if they can take care of fourth down right here for Wake. Should be. Kern kept it. It looks like he's got enough. 
and he's got a first down. Trying to get on the board here late in the half. Michael Kern, the handoff playboy. Loss of two. Batesy, how freeing is that as a linebacker to be able to play that way? Well, Trevor, it's, it's fun. And what's really fun, when, when I watch this tape, I, I watch Fordham, I, I watch Peyton Wilson. Yeah, a lot of Wolfpack fans curious to see how their team's going to perform, and I think they, they certainly answered that in the first half, the way they came out. And fire both offensively and defensively. And speaking of fire, a lot of want-to there for 34. Up over 240 yards of total offense for NC State in this first half. That's on target. Armstrong hits his man for a first down at the 45-yard line. Dakari Collins hauled that one in. And Morris decided the red shirt after four games earlier this week. He's your guy again. He seems to be enjoying it, that's for sure. Escapes the pocket. That'll be a horse cut. And he got pulled down to the turf there at the 42. Huh? All right, that's all right. He got him low on the jersey. On both sides of the ball. How about this? After the timeout, a little wrinkle for Gray. And now third and long. Armstrong path to the 35-yard line. That's the same. He got spun down. Armstrong. That's your quarterback right there. Be big here if Wake can get a stand. Get that ball in their offense's hands. Oh! Two players collided. That was Mims. Ninth play of the drive coming up for NC State and Brennan Armstrong. Mims. Tracked down and dropped. For NC State and Armstrong. Looking left. Take it off. Cut it to 35 and then tackled. He's designed run plays. Not that that one was for Brennan Armstrong. Here's a third and long. Slips that pass out on third down to Concepcion and he gets pushed out of bounds. They're going to call it a run. Rich Griffiths played the first three series of the game. Then had to come out. That pass is complete. Height. First down yardage on the play. So far in this game. Raybourne ran for 81 yards in the loss against Duke. This play. Williams. It's out. Yeah, lost it. Carolina State, first and ten. First down, NC State on the cover. Great job there. That's Sean Brown. All right, big uh, pardon. Robert Kennedy coming in, punching it out. He's the first one there. Catch is made, football move. So that's a fumble, and that's an NC State recovery. Keyshawn Williams and Dave Dor uh, Clawson, rather, just talked to Trevor at halftime coming out. He said, hey, we've got to catch. Let's see what that complimentary football that Doran preaches if they can get some points off that turnover. Open man, 42-yard line. Concepcion. First down, NC State, Mustafa. And the Tigers, Daniels was injured. He is going to play tonight against the Florida Gators and the other Death Valley. Armstrong moving left and throwing. And caught. Inside the 15, Collins. It's incredible catch. Good job. That's Clawson earlier talking about making those, those tough catches. That, that one right there, you, you got to go up and get it, but he brings it down to Kari Collins, who did play at that ACC version of Death Valley at Clemson before transferring over. KC Concepcion for NC State. Armstrong Ooh. got belted near the 20 and dragged to the turf. Nice job here by Garns, coming from way off, has to time that up. Defensive coordinator Brad Lambert. North Alabama, the opponent next week from the football championship subdivision. Wade trying to get something going with Williams. Fighting hard. Up to the 27-yard line, he got four. The Pack had three turnovers and 14 penalties in that loss. That's a recipe for losing on the road, that's for sure. No such problems today. 
That's out of bounds shy of the 40 yard line. This is third down and long for Wake. Tossed over the middle, complete. Out towards the 40 and a first down. Nice job sneaking out of the backfield. Big when they needed that one. Not this though. Interception, NC State. Sean Brown. Get that bone back out. Finally convert on a third down, and here's one more look at it. Just right there, playing center field. Good break on the ball, reading the eyes of Kern. Going up and getting it like they've done so many times. Turnovers 19 and 20 forced by this defense here today. Offense trying to get their first points of the second half. 33 yard return for Brown on the pick. Here's a little wrinkle again. Concepcion. That ball was on the turf momentarily. Cover up by Concepcion. Mustafa's had a pretty good game. He's going down hill hard from that safety spot. See if he can get back on track. Yep. If the goalposts were a foot wide, or nothing NC State. Look at that Shimko snap. Get me Shimko in here. <laughs> Perfect again. And three more points for the pack. 24 to nothing. All players out there in college ball right now got some sort of a ding that they're dealing with this late in the season. He's throwing some pretty good balls, Tom. Continues to work right here. Just got to take care of it. They had a lot of seniors celebrating senior day today, today, but only four starters for the seniors. Complete trying to fight for midfield. Wesley Grimes, nine yards. And tosses it complete first down. Stumbling down near the 40 yard line. Take Carney pulls it in and converts on fourth down. Down to 840 left in the game. Second time the wake gone for it on fourth down in the game. This is inside the 30-yard line. A committee tackle from NC State. And that's close to first down yardage as well. Ten yards on the play. Just a moment ago, I told you they got to the 36 of NC State. Now they're inside the 30. This is their best work all afternoon long and into the evening hours. Down to the 20-yard line. Horatio Fields. Since they finished with a zero on the offensive side. Uh-oh. Something didn't look right there. Kern throws it one on one. Down by the goal line. And caught for the touchdown. Alexander in the end zone. The senior from Shelby, North Carolina. After this touchdown, let's see if they can turn it into a two score game. First TD pass of the season. Kern. Looking for the two. Intercepted on the goal line. Being returned by Scott. Scott down the sideline. All the way for the return and two. Go out and get that ball. And here you go. Jalen Scott's going to catch his breath. Grab that Sharpie and sign the turnover bone. It's 26 to 6. You see. Throw the line. Finally tracked down at the 25. Concepcion. And just when, when he makes up his mind, he's going to go north and south. And look, even, even with the leap, feet hit the ground and automatically. His numbers are up there with. The best players in the ACC, some of the best players in the country as well. Concepcion is up to 86 yards rushing. Mims got the call there on a long rush for Armstrong. 14 carries, 94 yards, and a touchdown. He'll let his back do the work here Mims. for Mims. Fighting for him. It'll be interesting. Armstrong will get a chance at. Two for two in the game on fourth down, and you can make that three for three forward progress. It's about the 13-yard line. They only needed one. I wouldn't want to be on the opposing side of this offense here in these, these next couple weeks. Virginia Tech, it's going to be interesting. And then, of course, North Carolina. Season's end. 
It's down to about the three. Picking the ball off on a two-point try as well. And a nice win and a very tough place to go home with one for NC State.